Archaeologists in England made an extraordinary discovery while working on the high-speed railway project known as High Speed 2, HS2. This massive undertaking aims to connect London with major cities in northern England, the Midlands, and Scotland. However, before construction can take place, archaeologists must ensure that no historically significant sites are destroyed along the route. The first phase of HS2 covers 140 miles of track from London to Birmingham, including the construction of the longest viaduct in Britain. The project will eventually span nearly 350 miles, reaching cities like Manchester and Leeds. Its goals are to increase capacity, improve connectivity, and reduce carbon emissions. Despite these benefits, the project has faced controversy with concerns about environmental impact and destruction of ancient woodlands and countryside. To comply with British regulations, archaeological digs are conducted at selected locations before any construction work can begin. These excavations are the largest of their kind in Europe, involving thousands of experts examining 60 different spots along the route. The archaeological sites have revealed a wealth of historical artifacts and structures spanning various eras of British history, from prehistoric settlements and Roman villas to medieval villages and Victorian burial grounds. Among the notable discoveries, a skeleton dating back thousands of years and belonging to a murder victim was found in Buckinghamshire. The remains of Captain Matthew Flinders, the explorer who named Australia, were also rediscovered in London. These excavations provide valuable insights into different periods of British history. For example, researchers hope to learn more about the Black Death by studying the remains of medieval villages. One significant find was made near Colshill, close to Birmingham, after two years of excavation and aerial surveys. The site, known as Colshill Manor, was a Tudor-era structure surrounded by an eight-sided moat. It once belonged to Simon Montford, an English lord who supported treasonous efforts against Henry V.I. Montford was subsequently executed, and the manor was passed to Simon Digby, the deputy constable of the Tower of London. Sir Robert Digby later redeveloped the manor. Sir Robert Digby was a barrister, courtier, and politician who gained influence and prominence. He was knighted in 1599 and served as a member of the Privy Council, providing counsel to Queen Elizabeth I. He continued to serve under James I, and was involved in capturing conspirators during the gunpowder plot. However, he faced legal troubles related to his wife's inheritance, which occupied much of his time and resources. The discovery at Coleshill Manor, made possible by HS2, has drawn comparisons to other famous historical sites in Britain, such as Hampton Court Palace and Kenilworth Castle. Archaeologists have used aerial photography, drones, and on-site excavations to uncover the ruins and relics dating back around 500 years. The findings offer a unique opportunity to gain further insights into the lives of people during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. HS2 has sparked both enthusiasm and controversy due to its scale and potential impact on the environment. While the project aims to improve transportation and connectivity, some environmental groups argue that the destruction caused outweighs the benefits. However, the stringent archaeological investigations required before construction have led to remarkable discoveries, shedding light on Britain's rich history and providing valuable insights into past civilizations. The controversy surrounding Fitzgerald's eligibility to inherit the Kelder inheritance was a contentious issue that the Digbys spent years trying to resolve. They even went so far as to claim that Lettuce's grandfather's will had been tampered with to prevent her from inheriting the Royal Irish Academy notes. Eventually, Lettuce was granted the title of Baroness and took possession of Gee's Hill Manor. As a widow, she valiantly defended her new home during the Great Irish Rebellion. Given Digby's prestigious title and marriage, it comes as no surprise that he sought to showcase his power through the renovation of Coles Hill Manor. The courtier's renovation not only made it a remarkable example of modern architecture, but also demonstrated his immense wealth. Coles Hill Manor, however, was not the only fascinating discovery made by the archaeologists. 
Digby ensured that his Warwickshire home was unique, including the construction of extravagant ornamental gardens. Although they appear barren now, these gardens must have been magnificent in their prime. Archaeological surveys conducted during the HS2 excavations uncovered traces of gravel paths, geometrically arranged ornaments, raised flower beds, and even the foundations of a grand garden pavilion. Some have drawn comparisons between Coles Hill and Hampton Court Palace, which was built in the early 16th century for Cardinal Thomas Wolsey, Henry Vuillier's leading minister. Hampton Court, known for its extensive gardens and parkland, features notable attractions such as the oldest maze in the world and the largest grapevine. The gardens at Coles Hill likely hosted similar events to those held at Hampton Court, offering areas for relaxation, deer hunting, and jousting. Tudor gardens, like those at Hampton Court, often drew inspiration from Renaissance Italy, with pavilions, spiral paths, and visually appealing patterns. These gardens serve not only aesthetic purposes, but also practical ones. Deer parks provided a source of meat and symbolized wealth, while flowers like roses, marigolds, and violas added scent and flavor to sweet dishes. Signs of these practical uses have been found throughout the grounds of Coles Hill, along with other intriguing artifacts. These include smoking pipes, coins, musket balls, and even a coin dating back to the 13th century, shedding light on the lives of those who inhabited the area. The ongoing excavations at Coles Hill are a once-in-a-career opportunity for the dedicated fieldwork team. Stuart Pearson from Wessex Archaeology emphasized the exceptional nature of the artifacts found, offering invaluable insights into Britain's past. John Millward, HS2's Historic Environment Manager, expressed his excitement about the project's contribution to understanding British history. Dr. Paul Stamper, a historian with expertise in landscape shaping and gardening, described Coles Hill as one of the most remarkable Elizabethan gardens discovered in the country, despite its absence from historical records. Although visiting Coles Hill is not currently possible due to government regulations and ongoing excavations, efforts have been made to engage the public. Webinars and online channels provide glimpses into the experts' work, allowing people to ask questions and learn about the discoveries. As more of Coles Hill is revealed, Further public engagement events are expected. The HS2 project not only aims to uncover historically significant elements, but also to share British history with communities along its route. In conclusion, the unexpected discovery of extensive and well-preserved Elizabethan gardens at Coles Hill has highlighted the importance of learning from and sharing these findings. The ongoing work as part of the HS2 project reinforces the responsibility to preserve and disseminate as much knowledge as possible. Therefore, it is essential to stay updated on the progress of this remarkable excavation. Subscribe to the channel for more updates.